Hello and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be using this Power Kill Rat Trap. It's supposed to be easy to set, powerful, and effective. It's by Victor. Uh, let's see, it's got a high impact kill bar. Looks pretty menacing, I think. I've never used it before, so I'm going to follow the instructions on the back here and get it set and loaded and ready to use. Here's how easy it is to set the trap. Um, here's the kill bar, so we want to stay away from that. On the back side here, I'm just going to pull this back and lock it in right there like that. See how it's set? So you don't want to put your fingers on this side here. And you want to, here's the bait. That's where you put your bait in that little tray there. You want to do that before you pull it back. All right, so I've got a pity here. We're going to try it out. All right, so I've got the power kill set here. And when I do set this out, I'll be loading it with peanut butter before I pull the bar back. So uh, just to kind of get an idea of what may happen, I'll have peanut butter in the tray here. We're going to use a stick here as the rat. So it'll, uh, it'll have peanut butter in it. The rat will come up, or should come up, start eating it, and feel pretty comfortable and then put his foot on the tray That should happen. So originally I thought we had rats because we've had rats in our basement. Um, we're up in the top floor though of the house so I assumed it was rats but after a closer look I think we have mice. Uh, here's some droppings. Now these droppings are about a quarter of an inch in length. You can see they've kind of got the little tails on the end of them. Uh, they're not shiny either, so I think we're going with the mouse. Uh, we're still going to use our trap, and I'm going to go ahead and set that out. So since we've seen that, we've had to change things around. Uh, we've got stuff here on the table today, but every night we remove everything on here. And uh, we're, you know, like for example, we'll put this into a pantry where the mouse cannot get to it, uh, or mice. And, uh, you know, we don't leave crackers out or anything that you see here. Now, during the day, we may bring stuff back out, but uh, we just have to do that to make sure. Bananas, for example, you know, would need to be put in the refrigerator because they will eat bananas. Um, so we're going to go ahead and set the trap out and we have to keep doing that because if we leave them food out You know, they're not going to go for the uh, trap at all So I uh, want to make sure that nothing is available for them to eat except for the peanut butter on the trap So we're going to use the peanut butter here for the bait There should be plenty right there Put a little bit back here, and that should be enough. So I'm going to set the trap right up against this baseboard here. You know, in case the mouse runs along there, and we should be good. So we're just going to set it here. Again, it's pretty easy to set. Just lock that in place. And we'll just uh, check it from time to time. As well as the trap, I'm going to use this Decon Pro. You can see it here, it has green blocks. Uh, you unwrap them, 
and put them in this refillable bait station. Uh, just leave it and check on it from time to time. Uh, this is good for indoor and outdoor. All right, outside, just outside now. We did get our mouths today. It took about a week. Uh, this, uh, yeah, was loaded about a week ago with the same peanut butter. It never went off. So I didn't, you know, have to reload it at all. And today we found the mouse. Um, it was kind of a leg shot. It was in here. It was dead. It was not still alive. Probably happened in the morning hours. We didn't hear the trap go off. Uh, but uh, just removed uh, him from the trap. I'm not going to really show a whole lot. But, uh, you know, that's just the tail. One of the legs. I'm probably going to bury that mouse because it did ingest some of the poison and uh, or some of the rat bait so uh, just to keep any animals from eating him we're going to go ahead and bury him uh, what I'll do then is uh, clean the trap up here I'll probably use maybe vinegar and then neutralize that with uh, you know baking soda and we'll set it back we'll reload it with peanut butter and set it back out uh, don't know really don't think there's any more mice in the house but uh, you know why not put it back out um, if nothing happens after a couple weeks I'll go ahead and uh, you know remove it and remove our uh, rat bait as well um, yeah I want to clean this because you know I don't see any signs of urine but uh, more than likely if I just you know kind of wipe it down and set it out if there are any other mice they may you know smell this that's one thing good about the plastic here it's not going to um, absorb the urine like maybe wood so uh, yeah let's go ahead and clean it just got finished cleaning the trap easy to do what we'll do is we'll put some fresh peanut butter back in it set it out again for a week or so um, if we don't see any you know any any more signs of the mice then we will just completely uh, Remove the trap, set it aside, and we'll be done with it pretty much. So here's an update. Um, so we put the trap out a little over a week ago, about a week and a half ago. Uh, caught our first mouse two days ago. Uh, reset it, cleaned it, reset the trap, put it out yesterday as you saw. Uh, here's the, the next day, and we've got another one right here. So, uh, you know, working pretty well. Hopefully we, you know, I may go buy another trap. I may put out two, but uh, it's been working pretty well with that one. So we're going to go ahead and do that again and, uh, you know, just keep it up. I guess that's going to be it for the video. Victor Power Kill Rat Trap. Uh, it's worked out pretty well here. Make sure you read all instructions back here uh, when using this product. Thanks again. Until next time, have a great day. Take care.